Congratulations. 65%. Go on, tell me about this. Um, basically, this, this ban is all about the Year 11s that have just done the GCSEs, and it says 65% uh, achieved, achieved five A star to C. So I'm just, that, I think that's our highest yet. So. Highest ever at the yeah. city school? Yeah. Your year 10? Both year yeah, 10? Yeah, so it'll be us next year, so we'll have a banner devoted to us. And a bigger, bigger score than yeah. ever. Yeah. That's really good. Well, let's go in then. I, I presume <laughs> we have to do all the uh, signing in, do we? Uh, yeah. Turn that out, pop it into a plastic wallet for you Wonderful. so that you can carry it around the school so everybody knows you that you're a that? visitor. I've been here 29 years. 29 years at one school? I think the school is getting better? Right. Yes, yes. Why? It went, it declined about five, six years ago, um, but it's slowly coming back up to what it was when I first arrived here, so yes, it's good. That's a nice message, isn't it? <laughs> That's because you've been here five, six years, is it? it? <laughs> Making all yeah. the difference. Do, do you graft? Are you a worker? Yeah, I'm a worker. Are you doing yeah, I'm what they call a boff at school. A boff? <laughs> yeah. What's a boff? Tell it. Uh, really smart person. Yes, thank you very much. And what are you? Um, <laughs> probably the same. You're both a pair of boffs? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got the school boffs. Is it good to be a boff? Yeah, it's we've got an all organisation in it. Yeah. Let alone just gone, <laughs> we love boffs. <laughs> We're off to see year eight? Yeah, that's where I'm going to take you now. And what do you think we should talk about when we get there? Well, maybe we could talk about the new school uniform. New school uniform and... Uh, uh, and Discipline. Discipline. Let's go ahead and see what they think about that. Here we so. are. Just, just go here. All right, OK. Oh, well, so this is year eight. Yeah, these are the year eights. This is Holly, Jay and Red. Holly, Jay and Red. And who are you? Mrs Cable, head oh, of year nice eight. Oh, nice to see you. Hiya. Head of year eight, Mrs Cable. So one of the differences some people think of when they move from primary to secondary is uh, the way in which... Uh, people behave or well, the students behave. Do you think behaviour is good in the school? Or? You can get with a good group of friends Yeah. or you could just mix up with the wrong sort of people and that's something you don't want to do. Most people want to learn but there's some that can't. Yeah. Like, they don't, don't they? really want to. What would you like to happen to the people who don't want to learn? They should have special classes from like in maths where it's different sets. We should do that in every subject. So people who don't want to learn we should discipline them more. Has this uniform helped with discipline? Well, last year, if you saw someone come to school and they were just wearing the polo shirt with a shirt underneath it that you could see, yeah. like trackies and a pair of white trainers, you know, well, they're not going to be very nice. Right. But if, like, this year you can't tell because everyone's wearing dead smart stuff and this uniform, I think it's like, yeah, it's improved behaviour. Why is your tie like this? It's fashion. It's a fashion, is it? Yeah, I think it's a fashion yeah. thing with the girls. They do like the larger knot, don't they? Whereas the boys are quite happy to have the little knot right at the top. So, Matt, you're the uh, head teacher of uh, the city school and I hear that there are changes afoot in terms of buildings and plans for the future. There are, Mick. I think you can see we need some new buildings, <laughs> don't we? But as I always say, in any school, it's not about the buildings, it's about what goes on inside them, of course. Yeah. This new school's going to be organised around five faculties. We've got a faculty of performance, culture and society, communication, economic well-being and the sciences. <laughs> Mr. Clayton, should we interrupt or are we going to... No, you're OK to interrupt. I've got my able coaches working away right here. Okay. We've got Annabelle here, who's actually got a scholarship to the Young Leaders Academy okay. yeah. for Sheffield. Um, we've got three other students from their year group. We've also got more students from the year above. We've also got a lot of kids who've been doing um, something called the Arts Award, and that's involved them going into primary schools, and they're doing an absolutely fantastic job. Terrific, yeah. So you're actually seeing all sorts of... Leadership skills, teamwork skills come through the curriculum. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, these you don't just apply these to sport, they take these skills away with them and you know it's gonna benefit them a lot in later life. Yeah. yeah. I've been hearing that we're having a new building, so uh, I, I bet you're yeah. go on. I can't I can... wait. I cannot wait. I mean if you look at the school at the moment, one of the big selling points here has always been the extracurricular PE. We've seen other schools around us that are getting rebuilt all the time and you know, the kids are looking around and thinking, why can't we have that? And, you know, it's going to be a really big sense of status for the school when we get that rebuild. It's, uh... So now we're going to take you to the library and we're going to see some Year 11s doing an activity to do with careers. Careers? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look and see what we've got then. Yeah. It's about making the right decision for yourself, isn't it? You ready for the question? Yeah. £24,000, deal or no deal? No deal. Hey! 
There's a PSHE lesson, a citizenship lesson, obviously telling them that they've got a chance to make their own decisions. So whether they make a right decision or a wrong decision, it's what they're going to do through life. Give them a concept of uh, money, so what things cost, what they could possibly be earning. Uh, and as well as doing that, we also let them know about the uh, connections workers that when they leave school, they'll be going on to college or university possibly, or an apprenticeship. <laughs> When you speak to the connections workers, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stick with what you've got. Just because they're telling you something in the same way, doesn't mean you necessarily have to do it. You can have a chat with them and they can try and point you in the di right direction, but everything's open to change all the time. Initially they think, oh, it's just deal or no deal, but then as it's going on, they start to grasp the concept that they are making decisions. Maybe it's not just about chance. They, they've got to act on what they think is going to be yeah. best and to influence them yeah. uh, and help them, really. Right, I'll have... Go on, Faye. 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 Oh, no. no, don't do it! Faye, don't let us down. Yay! Yes! Miss Milroy's got some fantastic resources in the library. Got job files from every job that you can think of. Um, they're all in there. Tells you what qualifications you need. Just by a show of hands, who has sorted things up to now? Who's, quite, who's done quite a bit towards it? Somebody's whispered something to me. Was it, was it you told me about? Oh, Mr Hall was on deal or no deal himself. <laughs> Is this right? That's right. You, you that actually is, took part in the competition. That, that is true, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been on, on telly and met no lemons. I don't know whether that triggered Miss Milray into thinking it's something that we could do, and I don't know whether that's why I actually am in front of him and, and running it. But um, yeah, and I won, I won £12,000. Now, what was your ice offer? 24000 weren't it? So, if you can get rid of 15000 <laughs> 15, <laughs> then you're going to be guaranteed a massive offer. And this, hopefully, should put you in the top two groups, so you might be on for, uh, for some prizes. The school had certainly been through troubled times, I think yeah. that's fair to say, Mick. Yeah. Um, we're in, we were in the national challenge, um, and the key priority in the school was absolutely about getting your head above that 30% yeah. parapet. Yeah. And you may well be aware of the pressures yeah. involved yeah. in that. Yeah. But we rose to the challenge, we got a bit of extra resourcing, and the absolute focus, the relentless focus on the quality of what goes on, particularly in maths and English classrooms. I have to say, I, I'm just full of admiration for people who work in maths and English. Mr Jarvis, he's the biggest legend in the world. He teaches maths and in this room is Year 11's resitting their modules. OK. Morning. Afternoon, whatever it is, morning. Yeah. What do you see at the bottom of hospital bed in cartoons? You always see those temperature charts going up and down, and that's what a time series graph is. Any graph that's got time on it, right, and it's a nice, pretty picture. Think a cartoon, and that's a time series graph. All right. So all you've got to know is that the length of P to B. That's good. So I uh, enjoyed the intervention group with three teachers in there, and. Uh, Group for children doing different things. How does that work? Because some of them are, are resitting modules, yeah. we it's naughty. We pull them out of other subjects, but they then get specific help on those topics. But we actually mass the teachers in there, so they get a lot of individual help as well as encourage them to talk to each other and explain it to each other. You made one crucial mistake. What does product mean? Oh, yeah, multiplication. Yeah. Teacher. Have you worked at the school a long while, or are you um, relatively new? Or? Feels like ever now. It's uh, <laughs> last January, so right. I've done two thirds of a year, and this will be my first complete yeah. year. You enjoying it? Yes, yes. It's hard work. Is it especially hard? Uh, no, it's just because we're doing a lot of extra sessions for students. We're here at seven forty in the morning oh, no. for the session in the morning, then the kids have to... so it's, it can get to be a very long day. You're what's called the, one of these challenge schools, aren't you? We and are. The pressure's in really on to is, raise it. Uh, second year, yeah. last year, we did it. So uh, we did it. We did it. We uh, we had them in the mornings. We had them after school. We had a few intervention sessions yeah, going yeah. as well. Yeah. What have you written that I won't like? Because I'm really fussy. One X. One X. What do we really write? Are you all right, monster? No, you're not all right. Huh? No, I, I understand you talk, but you know, sort of famous occasional one, didn't you? The Jarvis cocky, yeah. Uh, Jarvis, you're Mr. Jarvis. Teaching yeah, well, Jarvis. I, I told the kids for years that he named himself after me. Was he only good at maths? Brilliant at maths. I tried to get him entered a year early. Yeah. He's also acted in Shakespeare plays. 
uh, excellent student, yeah. a whole group of them. Yeah. In fact, I'm the legendary person who uh, the first Pulp concert I recorded, and unfortunately, because Jarvis didn't li like it, I erased the tapes. Oh. So I've erased the tapes of the first Christmas concert by Pulp. That could have made me a lot of money. I wouldn't have been here then. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hadn't have been here, yeah. people will have uh, missed out yeah. a lot of really good maths teaching. Yeah. And this school is, is what's called a National Challenge School. Do you know that? I wasn't aware of that. Do you, not, yeah. do you not know what that means? No. No, it means it's a school where there's a bit of concern about the overall results and the government wants to make sure that all children get the best chance possible. So they've been really putting effort into getting the results up. But you didn't know that. That's a shame, isn't it? Because you could have been helping to make it better. Yeah. Now we're in the main corridor looking at one of the displays. Why, why have you brought me to this? I brought you to this part of the school because it's very special to me. Um, in Easter of this year, I went to Malayalaya, um, which is a place inside Lesotho. And whilst we were there, we did loads of work to do to help with the community. They're, they're so proud to wear the school uniform. <laughs> oh, and, you know, as, as soon as we get home, we we just like right, mom, I'm going out, uniforms yeah. off, paint, shower, get your jeans on. We just think schools are yeah. a doddle, and you know, you just go for a laugh. We take it for there. granted, it's, don't we? Yeah, and they they're so proud of it, and that, 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 that you know they have to pay to go to school, and we get it for free. And, you know, it just makes me realise how lucky I am. Well, we've got a fine selection of artefacts, Ken. You're the man behind the, uh, the visit to Lesotho, which we've just been hearing about. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about these? Sure, sure, yeah. I mean, um, this is empowering art, I suppose. It's uh, community members in Lesotho making jewellery. Uh, we're importing it. We're getting the young people in, um, in South Yorkshire to sell it. And the profit goes back, so it's, it's really pure trade. Fair trade. Uh, it's, well, it's, it's even pure it's, trade. It's pure trade. There's a, there's a, there's a term that I've, I've fashioned because it, it's un, unlike fair trade, where there's an element of profit that's retained yeah. in the north, all the proceeds actually go back yeah. south. Of course, this is a business and enterprise college. Do you think this is part of the curriculum of the of the college? It's very definitely giving an experience to the young people here in the city of Sheffield. You know, in business and enterprise, um, and of course, it's uh, the profits are being put to good use. And so you're glad you came? Oh, absolutely. It's hard work. Uh, I often have sleepless nights, Mick. Um, but, you know, that goes with the territory, doesn't it? And uh, I'm a lucky man. And um, I don't suppose there are many people who have the chance to, you know, make such a difference to so many people and, and, and you know, a community in need. Absolutely. Deal. We spent the day at the city school in Sheffield. It's a school that's described as average. A school that's described as improving. We've looked at lessons, routines, events. Its teaching is focused, it's demanding and it's challenging. What staggers me about the place is the way in which these grown-ups are putting every ounce into making a difference to these children's life chances. They're not getting an average experience, they're getting a great experience. We've got grown-ups that go the extra mile, push that little bit harder, always offer the extra opportunity. I've seen some amazing teachers today, some amazing staff who are making a difference to children's lives. And I've seen some children who years later will look back at their time at the city school and thank the grown-ups that spent time with them.